Welcome to another video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you five different methods to split data in a cell or a column into different cells or columns on the basis of a delimiter. This delimiter can be a space, question mark, underscore or any character of your choice. Take a look at the data which we will be working on. This is nothing but a list of few celebrities. In the first method, I will be using the most popular tool for this requirement and that is text to columns feature. To extract the first, middle and last names from this list into these columns, select the data, go to the data tab, click on text to columns, convert text to columns which I had is activated and here we have a preview of the selected data, Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar, Christopher Edward Nolan. And in the dialog box, we have two options, delimited and fixed width. Here we want to split the data on the base of a delimiter. So we will go with delimited. Next. The second step of this method, which will enable us to select the delimiter of our choice. Some of the commonly used delimiters are listed here. Tab, semicolon, comma and space. In our case, space is the delimiter. So I will mark the checkbox for space. Before that, take a look at the data preview. And when I mark the checkbox for space, here is the preview of the output this tool will create. And if your data contains some other delimiter, which is not listed here, for example, a question mark, asterisk or underscore, mark this checkbox for other and type in that particular delimiter in this input box. Anyway, in our case, space is the delimiter. So we'll go with next. Step three of this method, which will enable us to select the cell where we can load the output. Click on this app arrow. I will select this cell F3. Click on this down arrow. When I click on finish, the first, middle and last names are extracted into three different columns. In the second method, we will be using flash fill. To extract the first names from these names listed here, type in one of the first names into the adjacent column. For example, Glenn. Select these cells. In the data tab, click on flash fill. See the first names are extracted into the adjacent column. Similarly, for the middle names, Type in one of the middle names here, Daniel, select these cells, click on flash fill and the middle names are extracted. Control E is the shortcut for flash fill. So for extracting the last names from these names, I will type in Nolan, select these cells and press Control E. Last names are extracted. Third method is using Power Query. And this is the most dynamic one among the methods explained here. Select any of these cells. Click on From Table Slash Range. Create Table Dialog is activated. Click OK. See the selected data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. To split the data in this column into different columns on the base of this delimiter, in the Home tab, Split Column by Delimiter. The dialog called Split Column by Delimiter is activated. And you can see Excel has automatically detected the delimiter, which is Space. And if you have some other delimiter in your data, click on this down arrow. If your delimiter is listed here, select it. Otherwise, go for custom and type in your delimiter in this input box. In our case, space is the delimiter. So I will select space. When I click OK, the data is split into three different columns. To change the column headers, double click, first name, middle name 
last name. Now to load this data into our Excel worksheet, click on close and load, close and load to in the import data dialog, existing worksheet and select the cell where we want to insert the table. I will go with the cell D2. When I click OK, the first middle and last names are extracted into a different table. And like I said before, this method is more dynamic than the other methods. So let's add some addition later. Right click, copy, paste. To update the output table for the newly added data, right click on the table, click on refresh. See the output table is updated for the newly added data. In the fourth method, we will be using a user defined function. To create a user defined function for splitting this data on the basis of a delimiter, go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. To insert a module, right click, insert, module, function, space. I will name this function as splitter. Open parenthesis, text as string, comma, delimiter as string, close parenthesis, as string, open close parenthesis, on error, resume next. Now the name of the function, splitter, equal split function open parenthesis text comma delimiter close parenthesis on error go to zero so split is the name of the user defined function close the visual basic editor to split this data using the user defined function which we created equal type in s now scroll down through this list. See the newly created function splitter. First argument of the function is the text to split, comma. Second argument is the delimiter which separates the data. In this case, space is the delimiter. Double quotes, space, double quotes. Close parenthesis and press the enter key. See we have the first, middle and last names in these cells. Drag the formula into the downward cells and we have the first, middle and last names. Let me add some more data. Copy, paste, drag the formula into the downward cells. In the fifth method, we will be using three different formulas for extracting the first, middle and last names. So for the first name, select the cell in the formula bar, equal, left function, open parenthesis, select the cell containing data, comma, search function, double quotes, space, double quotes, comma, select the cell containing data, close parenthesis, once again close parenthesis and press the enter key and we have the first name. For the middle name equal mid function open parenthesis select the cell containing data comma search function double quotes space double quotes comma select the cell containing data now copy this part. close parenthesis plus one comma paste the copied part here comma once again paste the copied part close parenthesis plus one close parenthesis minus once again paste the copied part close parenthesis minus one close parenthesis and press the enter key and we have the middle name for the last name, 
equal write function open parenthesis select the cell containing data comma len function open parenthesis select the cell containing data close parenthesis minus find function open parenthesis double quotes asterisk double quotes comma substitute function select the cell containing data comma double quotes space double quotes comma double quotes asterisk double quotes comma len function open parenthesis select the cell containing data close parenthesis minus len function open parenthesis substitute function select the cell containing data comma double quotes space double quotes comma once again a pair of double quotes close parenthesis five times press the enter key and we have the last name so these are my five different methods for splitting data on the basis of a delimiter to so know some other methods please do mention in the comment section and if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any video releases thanks for watching wish you a great day